know what it is you're wanting right now? What's the most active desire within you? That's such an important thing because when you have an active desire, your attraction power, your point of attraction is more vivid. More things are happening. There's more momentum in your experience when you are clear about what you want. Sometimes you hold back on what you want because you've come not to expect what you want to come about. You've come to expect desire that is slow in coming or not coming. And so when we ask, do you know what you want, what your current active desire is, sometimes you say yes and aren't really a vibrational match to it. So it doesn't feel so good. And sometimes you say yes enthusiastically because you can feel that you are somewhere close to the vibrational vicinity of what you want. We come to this forum as representation of the larger non-physical part of you. You are so much more than your physical personality, but many people don't know that. In this body, you're an extension of non-physical, and that being that you are an extension of is actively involved in every moment of every day that you are here in this body. And the way you feel as you move through your days, moment by moment, conversation by conversation, thought by thought, really, the way you feel is really and only about your relationship with you. It's about how your energies are lining up. As you share this planet with so many other people, it feels to you that what you're feeling is a lot about what they're doing, how they feel about you, how you feel about them. But really, those are only points of focus that point out to you in an emotional way what your thought is in this moment about whatever it is you're focused upon in relationship to how your inner being feels and is focused about the same thing in the same moment. So it's the relationship between you and you that matters. We want to say it's really what matters the most. We almost want to say it's what matters only because until you get that squared away, until you are consciously aware of the relationship between the physical you and the source energy you, the soul you, the source you, until you've got that figured out and you know what your guidance system is telling you in any moment in time, then you are undoubtedly, like many people, having a sort of rough ride because you're observing all over the place with no defined by you reason for what you're looking at or why you're looking at it or what you're talking about or why you're talking about it. Most people are not very deliberate about these things. But when you figure out how to be deliberate about these things, then life becomes really good for you. It feels so much more satisfying as you're moving through life experience. And that's why a gathering like this, where we have an opportunity to talk with you about the things that you want and to help you come into vibrational alignment with the things that you want. Then a shift takes place within you. In this gathering, we talk endlessly about law of attraction and we talk about momentum and momentum and law of attraction are really the same conversation, aren't they? Aren't they? Are they? Because when you think about something, law of attraction brings you more like it. And as you ponder that, law of attraction brings you more like that. And it doesn't take long before there's momentum about that. And that momentum is the excuse you all use for not thinking deliberately. It's the reason that you often offer a vibration that you don't mean to. When you think a thought for as little as 16 seconds, we used to say 17, for as little as 16 seconds... Another thought like it joins it. And in the early stages of thoughts, that's so subtle, you hardly notice the increase in the momentum. But if you're able to stay non-contradicted on that thought, whether it's a wanted thought or an unwanted thought, in other words, the way you contradict an unwanted thought is with a wanted thought. The way you contradict a wanted thought is with an unwanted thought. So if you're off on the wrong foot in the morning and you're thinking about things that you don't want, and as you're thinking about that, then another thought joins it. 
every 16 seconds, another thought joins and another thought joins until in a little bit of time, really in just over a minute, you have enough momentum going with that thought that you could, if you were aware, you could discern the vibrational harmony between the way you're looking at that thought and between the way your inner being is looking at that thought. In other words, in a minute of focusing, you can feel the emotion that you're feeling. You're either feeling lighthearted and happy, which means you're in sync with your inner being, or you're feeling more defensive, more vulnerable, maybe more angry, more pensive, more frustration. Those emotions come fast. And as you become aware of your emotions. That means whether you know it or not, you are aware at some level of the relationship between you and you, which means your guidance system is now working for you. If you don't allow yourself to be real about your emotions, if you mask them, if you pretend that you feel differently than you do, it doesn't change your point of attraction, but it does make you less likely to become deliberate in the way you present your thoughts to the world. Now, your thoughts matter so much. Your thoughts are about, sometimes, they are thoughts that you've generated because it's a topic that you've been focused upon. Sometimes, and most often, your thoughts come in response to something that you are observing in your, what you want to call real life, manifested life experience. So we just want to point out to you briefly, we know that you've been listening to us for a while, many of you, and that this is repetition to you because we begin every seminar with this conversation. You are the creator of your own reality and law of attraction is responding to you. So when you think a thought and another thought joins it and another thought joins it and another thought joins it, in time, these thoughts that come about because law of attraction keeps presenting to you other thoughts that are like the thoughts that you're offering, before long you have a belief going. A belief is just a thought that you continue to think. and. In time, you come to absolute expectations about things. So much so that you could have two people in a room who have been looking at things a different way and they could look at the same set of physical manifested facts and they could have two entirely different responses to it because your expectation really rules the day. And we've not said this to you before, but your expectation and momentum are really the same thing too. What you expect is really the momentum of the thoughts that you've been thinking. So when we say to you that you create your own reality and you do it through your thoughts, sometimes that makes you feel like, well, then I need to change my thoughts because the things that I'm getting that I don't want... I need to change my thoughts so that that doesn't happen anymore. Or the things that I'm not getting that I do want... I've got to change my thoughts so that I do get those. And yes, of course, on a very rudimentary level, that's exactly right. You do want to change your thoughts so that they match up with more of the things that you want. But you can't just decide that you're going to do that and go out and do that without an understanding of how the laws of the universe work and, friends, without some practice, without some deliberate practice about things. So we're just going to say something really bold and blunt to you. And that is that you just can't get there from here. And what we mean by that is if you have a vibration going which is bringing whatever it's bringing and you are an observer of what it's bringing, then that's just a continuation. That's momentum that's going to keep happening. It's going to cause you to come to beliefs about things. A belief is just a thought you continue to think. It's going to cause you to come to expectations about things that you just can't get around. Because when you expect something, that means you've got a strong practiced vibration about it. And even though you would like something different, you can't get it. You've got to change the way your thoughts are flowing. And Law of Attraction isn't going to let you change the thoughts that you're thinking easily. So what are you going to do about that? In the early days, we talked about a process called pivoting, which is simple at its face. In other words, when you know what you don't want, you know what you do want. And that's a wonderful thing because as you have that contrast in life experience, what you do want is formulating in a magnificent and sure vibrational environment. We call that your vibrational reality. We began calling it your vortex, your vibrational vortex, because we want you to feel the realness of 
the gathering of vibration around the things that life has helped you to know that you want. I don't want poverty. I want abundance. I don't want sickness. I want wellness. I don't want rudeness. I want niceness. I don't want confusion. I want clarity. But the thing about that is, is in the moment of the experience, which is making you most aware of what you don't want, you are creating the other end of that vibrational stick. Because a really, really, really good problem, while it is becoming, causes a really, really, really good solution to come simultaneously and in proportion. Your new desires are born in an absolute commensurate fashion to your problems. If you've got a really good question, a really good answer is formulating. That's what creation is. That's what you knew you were contributing to when you decided to come into this body to begin with. But the thing that is important for you to understand is that while you are moving through the contrast of life and acknowledging, really creating, and really improving, you might say, which sounds weird, improving your problems, which means growing them, getting them bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger with more definition. You are also simultaneously creating the growth, expanding solution to that. But humans don't know that. The source energy part of you is reveling in everything that you are creating over here on the solution end. But you usually are over here so determined that you are going to solve this problem, that you are going to wrestle it to the ground. You're going to identify it. You're going to discuss it with others. You're going to join groups about it. You're going to compare it with other problems that are like it. And while that is all really good for the universe at large, while that is really, really good for what's happening in your vibrational reality, which you could find alignment with if you knew what you were doing, it's usually not so good for you because you just keep growing the problem. And as you grow the problem, you don't feel so good. We would like that to be an easy thing that changes within you. We would like you, instead of feeling unhappy with yourself because you've created a problem and unhappy with yourself that you don't feel good because of the problem, we would like you to feel appreciative of your problems in the way that we are appreciative of your problems so that you then could pivot to the solution. So the pivoting process is, well, I know what I don't want. What is it that I do want? But the thing about that is, by the time you've created a really good problem, you don't have access to the vibration of the really good solution because the problem was what's all activated within you. And you and your beloved are in the process of growing the problem, growing the problem, growing the And you might say, okay, I've read enough books. I know enough about this. I'm done growing the problem. I'm going to look at the solution of this problem. I want the answer to this question. I really want something different than what I've got because what I've got is not pleasing me in this way, in this way, in this way. And then you beat up on yourself all over again because you realize that you're still sort of stuck to, engaged with, married to, having the experience of the problem. And so you've got to find some way to disengaged from this active momentum expectation of the problem. And you can't do it just by saying, be gone, problem. Because when you say no to something that you don't want, it just comes closer to you. And we're not mocking you in any way, you know? Those problems that you are willing to focus into being are the basis for the expansion of all of the universe. Because when you identify a problem, you create a solution. But we want you to find a faster route for you to the solution, you know? The key to deliberate creation is understanding that you have to have some contrast in order to ask for more. And more is what we are all about. The continuation of existence, not the elimination of existence. It depends upon your ability to cease the resistant thought that is keeping you vibrationally. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video.